Hey guys, welcome back to Lake. Oh, I hope I didn't mess up and just went on that fishing trip and missed that date. Happy Saturday, everyone. It's time once again for a P.O. Positive or that P. Today's verdict is from Cheryl. Hi, Jack. I went for a walk the other day and suddenly encountered a majestic stag. We looked at each other for a few seconds and, and then he walked off into the woods. Wow, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm glad you could retell the tale. Stags can be dangerous. Today's weather might be dangerous, too. You'll need your raincoat all day long, and there will be a thunderstorm tonight. Back to the music. This looks dick. <laughs> she, like, she was amused with the stag. I saw a beautiful stag. It was the most majestic creature i ever seen before. And before I can ever touch my hands on it, he looks at me, he runs away, looks back and looks at me. We stared into each other's eyes, and then he went back into the pools. That's how she sounds like to me. Either she was actually pretty high or what. Da -da -da -da. Hello there, I got letters for you. Okay, let's check map. We got more, more stuff in the main city. Just kidding. It's not B to get out of there. Um, like much, not my, many people will be going out in the rainy weather. So that's good news. Am I now delivering this to this house this time instead of the other one? Yes, I am. Package. I didn't bring the package. package. Yeah, we're gonna, like, hey, we're gonna torture you. Oh, you're still here, huh? That makes two of us. When are your parents coming back? Do you miss him? What would make you think that? Well, they're nice folks, aren't they? Everybody's nice to me, because P.O. would fade away without this door. They should replace the deer statue with one of you. A bit of appreciation every now and then would be nice. Well, I better be on my way. So long, Miss Sunshine. <laughs> So without me, this freaking town be nothing. Okay, we can take that. <laughs> like rain, rain, go away. Yeah, but my heart be shut up. <laughs> I 
A little cover, don't run over anything. Here's your mail. There you go. With your pretty little uh, mailbox. coming up. Vintage Street. 103. One oh three. Vintage Street. That's lighter than I thought. Really? Smaller freaking package. Answer. Screw you too, buddy. I see your cars right there. With your big fat yard. Ooh. Hit that truck, madam. turn into this lane. I was like, oh, I'm staying in this lane, even though it's against the law, too, but... Ooh, interesting. That's a big-ass thing. What was that for? Okay. So we should travel right here. Hey, we got packaged to the weird... <laughs> the very unique nerd in the motel. Probably still playing that game, aren't you? It's the mail. I'm busy. Okay. Good luck. No! Damn it! I almost had it. I almost fucking had it. Thanks for breaking my concentration. You're welcome. <sighs> Video games are supposed to be fun. I feel horrible. Absolutely horrible. I know the feeling. You know what? I can beat this damn game, and I'm not quitting until I have. Good luck with that. <laughs> At least we got more than what he said last time. You just ruined his concentration. Isn't it so much? Road truck! You saw me backing up here, you didn't even slow down. Ooh, got dark, look at that. Ooh, I hate thunderstorms. What's going on with our lights? Ooh! No, 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 no! Should not be happening in real life. It's happening in real life. Should not be happening in this game right now. You hurry up and deliver this and get out the rain weather. Yeah, our 
to see it. again. I like how he has an owl house too out there. He's probably just in case he can't make it into his room. Okay, fellow Providence Okians, it's time once again for the sent in letters and announcements. This one's from our very own Maureen, or Mo as we all know. It. Hey, folks. Just wanted to grab your ears for a second to let you know all about the upcoming open mic night over at Mo's Diner this Sunday. That's right. Claim your 15 minutes of fame. Enjoy some. Well, performances, and the usual good food and drinks for everyone. I expect to see all of y'all for a great evening, and maybe even some dancing. You know who you are. Come join the show at Moe's at 8 p.m. this Sunday. I'll come get you if you don't. Well, you heard her, folks, and I'll be there too, so you better not miss it. Back to the music and to one of my favorite songs. Mail Carrier Meredith. Farmer DJ Jack. Seen any ghost drivers on the way here? Ghost drivers? Yeah, you know, people driving on the wrong side of the road. Nope, haven't seen them. Okay, I was just wondering. Don't bother. I need to get back to the live show. See you tomorrow, I reckon. Bye now. Uh, bye, Jack. Oh, and please close the door. Don't want to broadcast any mail truck noise. Thank you much. I mean, it was open. Oh, teleportation! Here we got nothing. Ooh, it got so dark. And so ends a week full of turmoil. You can say that again. If only the Angels hadn't lost to the White Sox. That would have made it perfect. Never underestimate White Sox. They're playing each other again tonight. Should I change the bet? Nope. Hold the line. Okay. Let's see what happens. Maybe you're <laughs> my lucky charm. <laughs> Have a great weekend, Meredith. Oh, wait, this was your last day. I totally forgot to tell you, but they still haven't found someone else for the job. So, I guess, you can have it, if you want. Are you serious? Of course, and it's a great job. You know what? Think about it, and let me know Monday morning when you return your stuff. I gotta run now. The Red Sox are playing the Yankees. Yep, I think I missed that date with that guy. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's your dad again. How was your time in the mail delivery business? Oh, hi, Dad. Well... It was okay. A nice change of scenery. Great, but not something you do for the rest of your life. Actually, it seems like they haven't filled the vacancy yet. They haven't? Well, you know what I'd do. Oh, hold on, Meredith. Let me guess. Mom wants to talk to me? Hi, Meredith. Sorry to butt in, but you're thinking about staying in Providence Oaks? Hi, Mom. 
Well, yeah, why not? I like it here. Well, Pio is wonderful, of course. I know. But you've got so much going on. Do you want to leave all that behind? It's tricky. It's the thing with having the cake and eating it too. Is it just work related or are there other people involved? You know, any interesting, interesting ones perhaps? Well, there are some interesting developments, yes. Oh, there are. But are they really interesting enough to give up your entire career? I really think you need to think long and hard on it. Oh, hold on. I have a suspicion Dad wants to talk to me. Meredith, I just wanted to say, you need to clean the lint filter on the dryer every once in a while. If you never do that, it could burn the house down. No problem, Dad. I'll make sure to do that. Great, thanks. I sometimes suddenly worry about things like that in the middle of the night. And it's not about the dryer, of course. I want you to be safe. And I'm sure you'll be okay. I'll be fine. Don't lose sleep over me. Okay, Em. Take care. I gotta go. We're running out of coins again. Bye! Oh, never mind. I hope you don't think I'm a cheapskate for having dinner here. There aren't a lot of other restaurants around, and I'm pretty sure their food isn't better than Moe's. Don't worry about it, Robert. I love it here. Thanks, Meredith. You're such a kind person. Good evening, you two beautiful people. Ready to order? Ladies first. Hi, Maureen. It's hard to pass up a juicy T-bone steak. Excellent choice, Meredith. And what would you like to wash it down with? Hmm. I think I'll have a... Water. Gotcha. Robert? The usual for me, Maureen. All right, Robert. T-bone steak and a beer. Doesn't get any more lumberjack than that. Be right back, folks. Ashley, get the steaks out! Maureen's the best. Did you hear about the open mic night she's organizing? Yeah, she only told me about it a dozen times. I wish I could go, especially since I heard that Jack's gonna do a thing. Jack? What's he gonna do? Announce the weather for next week? Believe it or not, he's a very good ballet dancer. Jack? Really? <laughs> no, he's into comedy. Would have loved to have heckled him. Oh well, this is a good week anyhow. Because you're sitting here with me? Alrighty, here are your beverages, folks. I'm afraid the food might take a little longer, as a certain kitchen helper thought the freezer was a good place for storing steaks. Uh, I really should get one of those microwave ovens to defrost them. You seem a little stressed. Is it the upcoming open mic? Why should I be stressed about that? It's going to be lovely. And you better be there, Robert Harris. Maureen, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. I did not just hear you say that, young man. Oh, by the way, Meredith. I need to steal him for two minutes. He needs to check on some wiring for me. Excuse me, Meredith. This is Maureen's jurisdiction. Have to obey the law. Mmm, <laughs> that tasted so good. Thanks, Maureen, for the fantastic blueberry pie. You're welcome. It's my way of making up for stealing you away from Meredith. Ooh, I swear. She can give quite the stink eye if she wants, can't you, hon? Oh boy, the world would be boring without her. Speaking of, are you going to miss your daily delivery round? Yes, I probably will. Must be nice here compared to the big city. Have you always lived in a small town? Yeah, Providence Oaks is my second one. After my divorce, I had to move away from the first one. Everything and everyone reminded me of her. I can imagine that. But maybe I shouldn't bother you with the innermost feelings of a lumberjack. Wouldn't be a bother at all. Robert and Meredith, 
sorry to break up your conversation, but we're closing up early tonight. Gotta set up some stuff for the open mic night, and I can't use any peeping eyes. Oh, okay, Maureen. No problem. Let me get the check for you, so I can leave you two to your lovely evening. Can you put it on my tab, Maureen? Anything for you, darling. Do you mind if I pay? Or at least for half of it? Meredith, after all your help, this is the least I can do. So, yes, I mind. Now let's get going before Maureen gets her broom out. Meredith, thanks again for your help. I'm not sure what would have happened if you hadn't come here for your mail delivery vacation. I might actually extend my stay here. Are you serious? That would be nice. <laughs> so, I guess I'll see you around. Yeah, uh, okay. All right. Wagon West. Good night, Meredith. You too, Robert. But you're not leaving without a hug. Oh, a better hug from all the things. Let's see. I can never have predicted delivering mail for two weeks would be like this. I met so many new people. Some of them are really nice. Some of them are a little less so, but all of them are interesting in their own way. My temporary mail job officially ends tomorrow. Regardless of the actual experience, a change of scenery always has its upsides. That yeah, probably also holds true for tonight's open mic at Dutmo's Diner. So what's gonna happen here? <laughs> anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So, I'm dedicating my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The first one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar, and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks the bartender, what's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, ah, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tap. So, wanna give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those steaks are too high. This one's for our own newcomer, Meredith Weiss. So, a woman's driving down the freeway, but all of a sudden, she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, what car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens. Well, folks, wasn't that special? Now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic, after oh. all. It's actually time for a little break right now. So come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Mildred, how are you? And how are the cats? Fine, on both counts, dear. Thank you for asking. So, do you like the hair? Love it. That hairdresser did a great job. Thank you, dear. Pity it's quite the waste of time and money, seeing as how I can't stay for long. Really? What's the rush? You see, my son decided to drop by, unannounced, and he's staying the whole weekend. Oh, that's wonderful news. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, anyway, take care, dear. Now, where did he park the car? Yes, it's me, Matt Kearney, in an egg brace. Real funny, huh? Oh, hi, Matt. What happened? Well, I was about to send the final boss to the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair, and now I'm here looking like a loser. 
I'm sure you'll beat the game one day. Don't give up on the dream. I can't play like this. But I'm going to work out a strategy in the meantime. Dear people, none other than our own Kate Evans will perform next. She has been writing songs since she was a little girl. And I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please put your hands together for Kay, everyone. Yeah, to me we can't hear it. <laughs> Darling, this does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless. That was Kay, people. Another round of applause. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish. But I'd rather be home right now. Isn't it fun to step out every once in a while? Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. <laughs> Bert, thank you so much for coming. I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Good night, Bert. Thanks again. And now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Kay's place, Mo Kay's. We haven't settled on a name yet, but there you go! Another round of applause! And have some drinks with us! How did it feel to be up there? Oh, it was so great to be performing again. It felt amazing! I'm all over the place right now. It was such a rush. I will definitely be doing that again. If they let me, of course. That was amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Em. It felt amazing. I was so super nervous, you know? Like, shaking and all that. I'm so glad it went well. Kay's place, huh? Congratulations! <laughs> that was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me like a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. <laughs> but it feels good, you know? That's great. I am so proud of you, Kay. You really have made a great life here. Thanks, Em. I'd like to think so. Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Well... Wait, I'm not good at this stuff, so... I just want to say... It was good to have you back these past weeks, Em really good. You just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. Promise you'll keep in touch? Whatever the outcome, yeah? Of course. And remember, time marches, marches on. on. <laughs> See you, Kay. Thanks. For everything. Oh. My lovely people! The time has come for the open mic part of the evening to end. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next, but I just heard he hurt his hand back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for joining us, and there's plenty of food and drink to go around. I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So, you had fun? Oh, 
It was great. Kay was amazing. You said it. Oh, that girl is so talented. Oh, I'd give my big toe to be able to do what she does behind a keyboard. Oh, sheesh. I'm still thinking about your news about handing over the diner, Kay's place, huh? That was quite the bombshell. That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. She probably thought I was joking half the time, honestly. I just want to give her the option. It's hers whenever she wants it. And if she doesn't, that's fine too. Yeah, but how do you make a choice like that if you don't even know what your own situation will end up looking like? Something on your mind, hon? I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling a bit weird about tomorrow. How did things end up with Kay? You could tell me to mind my own, of course. It's just that that girl is like a daughter to me. We talked, yeah. We really reconnected. And I'm happy we did. <laughs> Listen, you're two grown women. And if that's the choice you two ended up on, I can only respect that. Speaking of choices, you've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what you're gonna do yet? Stick around, move back. I think I have a feeling. Yeah. Then you go follow that feeling, hon. Thanks, Maureen. I best get back inside. You take care now, Meredith Wise. Take care, Maureen. Oh, the dread has come. Dear Meredith Weiss, thank you for participating in our annual photography contest. Your wonderful picture did not win the grand prize, but you are still a winner. The attached voucher gives you a 20% discount to our autumn course. Sign up today and never take a blurry picture again. David Gillespie, Photography for Beginners, Inc. Good morning, Meredith. You won't believe the weekend I had. Saturday, I placed a bet on the Angels, just like you said, and won. But they played again yesterday, and I let it ride, and then they lost. They're playing again tonight, and now I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. So, the Angels will win this time. Okay, Meredith. Thanks. I'll go with that. Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job. And that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. And yes, I want to wear it a bit longer. Fantastic. So you'll be delivering the mail today? I'll give HR a call and tell them the vacancy is filled. Eh, uh, not so fast, Frank. It's under one condition. If you get in a predicament with Walter Morgan again, you're on your own. Ha! <laughs> you got it. I'll have Morgan for breakfast. Now, let's get to work. The mail doesn't deliver itself. Okay, let's see what today's weather will be like. P.O. people, good morning! Today's weather will be nothing short of gorgeous. And I can't wait to go outside and head out to the acres. But not before sharing, you know what? P.O. Positive or Pet Peeves? I don't need callers for today's P.O. Positive. I'm picking it myself. <laughs> I'm talking about Moe's open mic last night. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'm sorry if I offended anyone with my jokes. Well, no. Actually, I am not sorry. Not sorry at all. Thank you much, Moe and Kay, for hosting it. It's just one of the things that makes Providence Oaks the best place in the world. Have a great day. Ah, uh, <laughs> you tell him, Jack. What's this guy up to? Wait, is that Robert? Y yeah, yeah, Robert, I'll pull over. So he's be right next to me. Hey, Meredith, sorry about that. I hope it didn't scare you. Hey, Robert, what's going on? Well... This is gonna sound super awkward, and hopeless, and desperate, and 
probably a lot more things, but I don't want you to leave. I've decided a while ago that I'm done with stuff like this, but I guess it's not something you can decide. Robert, that's so sweet of you, but I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. I... wait, what? You're not going? Yep. It's nice here. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, great. Well, I might as well blurt it all out. I like you. A lot. I didn't want to give in to it. I've been through a rough breakup once, and I didn't want to risk ever feeling like mm -hmm. that again. So, what do you propose? That I just get in your car right now? Well, I wasn't gonna propose, but yeah, Meredith, I'd love that. Okay. <laughs> Coffee at Moe's? And a piece of pie. Sorry for button in, folks, but I've got a special treat for y'all. I just updated my playlist. Mm. This new song is from our very own Kay Evans. I mean, to be honest, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna pick Stay Here. They're like, oh no. Alright, there we go. <laughs>